been a good year for British Land. The market has been very supportive, but we've also had a strong operational performance and have outperformed the market on many different levels. NAV is up, valuation is well ahead with our actions contributing a third of the uplift. Total accounting return is strong and equally impressive when viewed across the last two years. We've also had an exceptional year for leasing. We've let space well ahead of valuers expectations and our portfolio is close to full occupancy. A clear indication that we are creating environments in tune with the way people work, shop and live today. If I look back over the last few years, we've really changed the shape of the business to keep pace with a number of macro trends and play to our strengths. We're bigger, more concentrated on London and the South East. We've increased our offices business, focusing more on the West End and large mixed use campuses. And our portfolio is substantially more modern. In retail, we're more focused on larger multi-let schemes, well positioned for growth in an omni-channel world. We have now rebuilt a substantial development pipeline virtually from scratch and our finances are in good shape. We carry less gearing and have reduced interest rates. In retail, valuations are ahead. Rental growth was the strongest for seven years. The quality and terms of deals have improved and we're attracting a broader range of brands. Retailer sales, dwell times and spend are all up. We're attracting more affluent customers and significantly outperforming on footfall. We've invested in simple improvements like better car parking and also added extensions with leisure, food and beverage to make sure our assets keep pace with customer needs and wants. We've also continued to sell assets which no longer fit our criteria and increased our share in assets we already know and like. The Tesco swap was our largest deal and we further increased our share in HUT. In offices, we've seen our strongest valuation performance for many years. Leasing activity has been exceptional, with the Leadmill building an outstanding success. We're now around 84% let or under offer, with further negotiations ongoing, and we've set the highest city rent four times. We've also been active on our campuses, attracting new and growing occupiers, and changing the occupier base. At Broadgate, we've widened appeal beyond financial services, and reopened Broadgate Circle, further evolving the campus. Five Broadgate completes next month and is fully let to UBS, which is already fitting out. At Paddington Central, we're improving the public realm, we're on site at 4 Kingdom Street, and we've acquired Sheldon Square. At Regent's Place, we've nearly doubled the rent at 338 Euston Road, as Facebook establishes its largest hub in Europe. That's a strong endorsement of the campus. Development has been an important part of our business. The 2010 programme has been a great success. Replenishing our development pipeline has been equally important and this is in good shape. We've bought at sensible prices in improving areas and in line with our strategy. We also have significant optionality to respond to market changes. Our medium term programme is focused around Canada Water, one of the largest regeneration opportunities in London and a great example of the strategic things we've identified. We're better placed as a result of the improvements we've made. Our consistent outperformance shows our work is paying off and that gives us confidence for the future.